we appreciate you taking the time. You know, as you know, we're dedicated to developing highly dynamic, innovative attractions that we know our guests will love. And that's why we're so excited to share with you today uh, the, the all new addition to our amazing collection of thrills here. So in 2023, we invite you to escape the storm on Dark Coaster, the world's first all indoor straddle coaster.
cleared everything out of it, it just looked so huge. It was this huge, big box, right? And um, yeah, now it's full of tracks, so it doesn't look so big anymore. stuff with the guys working now. So how long since Dark Castle was announced for the closure, how long did it take to come up with the plan for Dark Coaster? Uh, a few years. Yeah, I mean, the d &E team is always design and engineering. Sorry about that. We've got to use quick use, using acronyms all the time. But we spend uh, a couple years coming up with concepts, float a couple different concepts around, and then eventually come into what we decide we're going to do. So um, it, it's definitely a, a multi-year multi -year process. That's great. How many concepts came up before Dark Coaster? I don't know, maybe two or three. And again, um, in the in the concept stage, you certainly don't take it to the detail that we have it now. They're kind of just ideas, and then people come back to. You. But yeah, there were definitely a few different a few different ideas floating around. That's great. I'm and glad we are uh, coming back and revisiting Dark Castle, though. I think uh, I think that uh, helps tell the story, and I think our guests who all love. Dark Castle will, will really enjoy that part of it. Yes, I know a lot of people miss the old Dark Castle, so I think we're all excited to see it come to life in a new way. Yes, 
Prior to Pantheon, Intamin wasn't a big part of Busch Gardens Williamsburg. What brought that relationship back? Because now we're using them again for Dark Coaster. Um, I think they, um, they've developed a really cool coasters recently. Um, we do have um, Pompeii, mm -hmm. which is an Intamin ride. Mm -hmm. So there have been other ones in the system. Um, but yeah, we, we got to the point where we really wanted to add some coasters. And they, um, they kind of provided what we wanted. That's great. It's great to see them make a comeback, especially how the, with the success of Pantheon. Absolutely. Now, what kind of theming can we expect for the ride? Will it relate similar to the Dark Castle story? Or what can we expect to see on the ride system? There'll definitely be some nods to the story. Um, we really want you to experience the, the darkness and the storm and um, that impending feeling that something is happening, you know, and a uh, little bit of fear, but not, you know, not overly scary. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, I think um, I think it'll be fun. I think I think everybody will be happy with it. That's great. And what was the draw for a family coaster compared to a, a large thrill attraction? Well, we just have Pantheon. Of course, Pantheon, you know, it has height limits and everything. This one's 48 inches. Mm -hmm. um, it's different in that it's a straddle coaster. So the fact that you're getting on the snowmobile, you're actually going to be straddling mm -hmm. the, the ride vehicle. Um, so we always want to have something a little bit different for our guests, something new and different, um, and what a perfect place to do it. That's great.